This is Sotek Sai and I'm Arlene Yo. I hope you all are doing good. Well, today's recipe is a prawn ghee roast. This dish is a melange of my glorious spices mixed with succulent prawns which goes well with me dosas. Well, I'm going to show you how to prepare this easily at home. So let's get started guys. So to prepare the prawn ghee roast, I've taken 250 grams of prawns. I've cleaned and deweaned it. Let's add in some turmeric, some salt, and I'm going to squeeze half a lime. I'll mix this really well so that the turmeric, salt, and lemon juice gets coated. So now I'm going to proceed to dry roast the whole spices. Well, I've taken a mix of Kashmiri and Bedgi chilies. You can use either one as well. And I've listed the ingredients with the proportions at the start of the video as well as in the description. So I'm going to dry roast these spices. I'm going to dry roast this until it gets nice and fragrant. This should take me about 2-3 to three minutes. So it's been two and a half minutes and my masala is still nice and fragrant. Now I'll switch off the flame and proceed to cool it down. The whole spices have cooled down and I'll add it to the mixer jar. So you can add two tablespoons of coriander as well while roasting. But since I did not have whole coriander, so I'm use, going to use the powder. This is two tablespoons of coriander powder. To this, I'll be adding a small piece of ginger, some garlic, and a small piece of tamarind. I'll add in some jaggery powder. This will give you a tangy taste for your ghee roast. Now I'll add in a little bit of water and proceed to grind this into a fine paste. So I've ground the masala and this is what it looks like. I've eventually added a little bit of more water while grinding to get it into a fine paste like this. Aroma is amazing and I'm just waiting to make the ghee roast. Let's add in some oil. Let's add in the marinated prawns. I'll gently saute the prawns for a couple of minutes on both sides. You can see that the prawn is curling up. It's been two minutes. Now I'll remove the prawns in a plate. Now I'm going to use the same pan and I'll add in one fourth cup of ghee mixed with some oil. The ghee will actually enhance the flavor of the dish and do not mess it. To this, I'll be adding some sliced onions. I'll continue frying these onions until it's nice golden brown. Our onions have turned nice golden brown. Now I'll add in some curry leaves. Give it a nice stir. Now it's time to add in the ghee roast masala. Now I'll proceed to roast this on a low flame for 3 minutes. It's been 3 minutes. Let's add in some whisk yogurt. Give it a nice stir. I'll fry the masala 
for a couple of minutes more after adding the yogurt. Now I'll add in the prawns. Give it a nice stir and let the prawns coat the masala. I'll cook the prawns for another 3 to 4 minutes with the masala on a low flame. So it's been 4 minutes. I won't overcook the prawns as it might turn rubbery. I'll switch off the flame. It's got a nice texture and it smells amazing. I'll garnish it with a few more curry leaves. And serve it with some neer dosas. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video guys. I've shown you how to prepare the prawn ghee rose step by step. Do let me know in the comments how you like the recipe. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. And also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll see you next time guys.